We're here with Jeff Flint, world-renowned surf photographer. He was generous enough to provide us with some great behind-the-scenes footage. Sometimes I'll wake up in the morning and I'll just like look up and you know it's sunny and the waves are so big and you kind of know what lens you're going to use, what camera body you're going to use, are you going to use you know water housing, you're going to shoot from a boat, you're going to shoot from land. So you kind of have an idea, you start out with that and then I'll set myself kind of a goal like today I want to get uh, like one or two really really good water shots, maybe a spread or, or a cover shot. Or, and that's I mean that's the goal but sometimes it doesn't happen. I can do whatever you guys want. Okay. I mean, I can do it. I have to look at it and see, but yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay, we'll just go there because there's that island in the background and it's yeah, yeah. sick. Iguanas in the foreground get all weird. Yeah, whatever. Just think of where you guys, the best way for you guys to surf. Don't think about like, oh, let's just set up a photo. Yeah, yeah. You know, let's like, let's go surf a good wave instead of like. I yeah. like you. <laughs> I'm swimming in the water with my water housing and two swim fins and I'm timing the wave. Um, to get inside the tube with the guy. So I will actually swim out with the surfer into the waves and I'll have to sit in the impact zone where the waves are breaking. So the surfer sits outside and waits for the swell to break and then I have to time it so that I'm in the tube and the surfer's in the tube at the same time. And sometimes the surfers are trying to work with me, they're looking for me, so they'll slow down or they'll speed up to, to, to match up with me. And then there's times when it's just like all naturally, it just naturally happens when the surfer's in the tube and I'm in the right place at the right time. When I'm working with the surfer too, sometimes the surfers will like photos and they'll be like, oh, I like this photo. We'll, 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 you know, we'll get done shooting and uh, we'll get out of the water. I'm like, hey, let's check out the, this. Normally the surfers are like, let's check out the photos. Let's check out the photos. Okay, let's check them out and I'll have to download them and then they love looking at them on the screen and we'll just go flip through them and I'll usually do a raw edit with them. This one we can color correct like the same. But yeah, I like that one a lot more. See, that's the same one that you have a video, that same video clip. So it's like from that, that different This part's sharp and right in here sharp. A really good thing too is I document the surfers. Um, like their, their lifestyle, like yeah, I, I spend a lot of time with doing the action stuff. I, I kind of always have my camera with me and, uh, and I try to make it incognito sometimes where there's moments where the guys are having a good moment and I won't say, hey guys, let's take a picture. I'll just kind of pull out my camera and just stay like in the shadows or stay off to the side and take pictures of them getting that moment. 